Children, it's Mrs. Lee here. It's assembly number one, and it's the week beginning the gosh, the 21st of February. So, this is the last week of February. Oh, it's still pretty cold. Hope you're wearing your coats. Remember, if you bring your coat to school, or a hat, or some gloves, or a scarf, they need to have your name in them. We had so much lost property, and it wasn't claimed at the end of term. So we've had to put that all into bags, and it's disappeared now, we've taken it to the charity shop. But if you bring in stuff to school, make sure it's named, can you, please? Oh, that's great. Okay, should we have a look at our routine? Yes, let's do that. Okay, what's the time, Mr. Wool? Well, I can see on the clock that the long hand, that's the minute hand, is on the number nine. And I know that that means, you're right, quarter to. Quarter to what though? Well, I look to the short hand, that's the hour hand, that's pointing towards, oh, the number 11. It's coming up to 11. So I put it all together and that means a quarter to 11. Fab if you got that. Okay, we are still in February, so our language of the month is still Bulgarian and we know how to say hello, it grazie, grazie. Now, you know that Mrs. Lee is not an expert, so if you want to find out who speaks Bulgarian, then you need to come and look at the display. Did you see it? Super. So on the display, you've got names, you've got books there, you've got all sorts of words that the lovely Mrs. Turner has put up, and that's going to change pretty soon. So if you haven't come and had a look, please do. What else have we got? Well, our Makaton sign of the week has changed, and I've chosen one that we've done before. And I've chosen it because I know that in year one, you're going to be looking at... Oh, can you read that long word there? Let's break it up. We've got one part that says super and another part that says hero. Superhero. Now, have a little look. You need to start with your hand out flat, bring it to the good sign, then turn it around and bring it down. Okay, so can we all do that? Ready? Let's do it together. So we're coming out. Good. And that means superhero, superhero. And I want you to be a... Mm -hmm. Now, looking around the school, let's have a look at, look at the pictures that we've got around our school. We've got lots of different activities again and we're still on our heroes and heroines topic but we're moving back to geography. So we're going to be geographers, okay? So we're going to learn a little bit more about our country. So you hopefully will remember we walked around the school, we walked around in um, our local community way, way, way back before Christmas. And we looked out for different things in our community. And this time we're going to be looking and exploring things around the United Kingdom. So we're going to be looking in Scotland, in England, in Northern Ireland and Wales. And hopefully in your classrooms you'll see lots and lots of different things to help you to be able to talk about the United Kingdom. Okay, so I need everybody to be a superhero. Good listening ears everybody. Let's see who's looking and sitting smartly. Well done over there, that's brilliant. Now. I'm going to show you something else that you might have seen around our school. But around our school, we have these different posters. This one 
Yeah, it's the golden rules, which are just behind me. Can you tell me how many there are on your fingers? That's right, there are seven golden rules, and these help us to keep our school happy and, that's right, safe. We also have this poster around our school. It's the British Values poster, and I've talked about this a lot. And I would like to talk about the middle one, individual liberty. Now that's like being a superhero. It's about being yourself. And we know everybody is, that's right, different. We're all different, aren't we? And as long as we keep the golden rules to keep everybody happy and safe, we can all be different. Now, Mrs. Lee has put some books out on here. Some of these books you're going to be learning about this term, Giraffes Can't Dance. Some of these books we've read before in assemblies, Dogs Don't Do Ballet. This one, Elephants Don't Do Ballet. Now these are just fun little books that I've got, but they've got a message. And the message is, you need to be yourself. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. As long as what you are doing keeps everybody else in the school and around us happy and safe, then it's okay to like different things. So the book that I'm going to read today is called William's Doll. It's quite an interesting story. It's all about a boy called William, but he wants a toy. How many of you like toys? Mm. And in our school, we've got lots of different toys, haven't we? And we remember the golden rule, which is to look after property. Yeah, that's great. But sometimes children don't always want to play with the same toys. And that's a good thing. All right. And this story is about William, who doesn't want to do what everybody else thinks that he should do. He's going to be different. Shall we find out why? Okay, good listening ears. William's Doll by Charlotte Zolotow. Mm. William wanted a doll. He wanted to hug it and cradle it in his arms. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And give it a bottle and take it to the park and push it in the swing. It looks like his brothers don't agree. And he wanted to bring it home and undress it and put it to bed. Looks like his brothers are laughing. And he wanted to pull down the shades and kiss it goodnight and watch its eyes close. And then William wanted to wake it up in the morning when the sun came in. Let's see how he's acting it out. Hasn't actually got the doll. He's acting out what he wants to do. And then he wanted to start all over again, just as though he was the doll's daddy, the doll's father, as if it were his own child. A doll, said his brother. Oh, don't be so silly. Silly, 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 sissy, said the boy next door. His father said, how would you like a basketball? But William wanted a doll. It would have blue eyes and curly eyelashes and a long white dress and a bonnet. And when the eyes closed, they would make a little click like the doll that belonged to Nancy next door. <laughs> said his brother. Sissy, chanted the boy next door. Is that a good thing? Well, William's father brought home a smooth, round basketball and he climbed up a ladder and he attached a net to the garage and he showed William how to jump as he threw the ball into it. And he practised a lot and got good at it. But it had nothing to do with the doll. William still wanted one. His father brought him an electric train and they set it up on the floor and they made an eight out of the tracks you see that eight, the figure of eight. And they brought in twigs from outside and they set them in clay so they looked like trees. See the trees. William looks like he's enjoying it, doesn't he? Likes the train track. The tiny train threaded round and round the tracks with a clacking sound. William made cardboard stations and tunnels and bridges and played with the train a lot, just like the basketball. He still didn't stop wanting a doll. 
a doll to hug, a doll to cradle and take to the park. And one day, his grandmother came to visit. William showed her how he could throw the ball through the net attached to the garage outside. He showed her the electric train clacking along the tracks through the tunnel over the bridge, around the curve until it came to a stop in front of the station that William had made. She was very interested and then they went for a walk together and William said, but you know what I really want is a doll. Wonderful, said his grandmother. No, William said, my brother says it makes me look silly and the boy next door says I'm a sissy and my father brings me other things instead. Nonsense, said grandmother. And she went to the shop. And she chose a baby doll with curly eyelashes and a long white dress and a bonnet. And the doll had blue eyes. And when they closed, they made a clicking sound. And William loved it right away. <gasps> but his father was upset. He's a boy, he said to William's grandmother. He has a basketball, an electric train and a workbench to build things with. Why does he need a doll? grandmother he needs a doll to hug to cradle and take to the park so that when he's a father a dad just like you he'll know how to feed and look after his baby to love him and bring him all the things that he wants like a doll so that he can practice being a good dad there you go what a lovely lovely story I love that William wanted to play with something different to what the other boys thought that he should play with. Good for him. That's a, like the other books that we've read, aren't they? Like giraffes can't dance, people saying that we can't do things, or dogs don't do ballet, saying that the dog wasn't able to be like a ballerina. Oh, we can do all those things if we put our mind to it. Oh, did you enjoy that story? I did. Okay, so we've been talking about individual liberty, which is on our posters around the school. I want you to have a good look at this poster and see if you can find this one around the school. Some of them are in the hall at lunchtime. <gasps> oh, talking about the hall, we've changed some of the displays. Do you want to have a quick look? So we've got a new forest school display and our learning journey in the hall has changed because we've got our spring work which we were doing, what was it? Oh, I remember about World War II, the evacuees and rationing. And our RE uh, display is going to change very soon as well because right at the end of uh, last half term we changed. We did our RE days and we learned about different religions, didn't we? Gosh, now, in our hall, we're also a little bit bare. I would really love it if some of you could start bringing in some pictures for our World Book Day. So World Book Day is coming up very, very soon, in a couple of weeks' time, and it would be really lovely if you could bring in your sheet that looks like this. Did you see it? So that is um, who would you invite for dinner? So I want you to think about all the books that we've read. Maybe you would like to invite William. So you could draw a picture of William with his baby at the table. Um, maybe you would like to invite Gerald the giraffe, who's really good at dancing, okay? Maybe you would like to invite another character, Kippa, or maybe Cinderella, or maybe the smartest giant, why be soup potato? I don't know. I would like to know who you would like to invite for dinner. Choose three characters, draw them for me on the piece of paper, bring it in, and it's a competition. So there will be a winner from each year group. How exciting. And then on World Book Day, we are not going to come to school in our normal clothes. We're going to change them and we're going to come in our pajamas. How exciting. And you can bring your teddy along too. Okay, now Mrs. Lee has spoken lots and lots and lots. We're going to finish there. Lots of information for you to think about. I'm hoping that this half turn, everybody's going to be a superhero. All right. Get involved with your learning. That's right, like involved iguana. 
um, and work really hard for me and I will be giving out numbers in boxes and hopefully seeing you at the wow wall. How exciting. Okay, let's finish off with our school prayer. If you close your eyes, put your hands together, fold them, I don't mind, but you must join in with the words. Let me hear them. Help me to do the things I should, to be to others kind and good, in all my work and all my play, to grow more loving every day. Amen. Okay. Right. Have a lovely, lovely week. Enjoy um, everything that's happening. Uh, did you get all dressed up? Did you come dressed up for our Sparky Start Day? I hope you did. Bye. <laughs>